So it's not always possible to find a single strategy that is a best response uh, to another. So if we, for example, consider the matching pennies game, the best response to the first column strategy is the first row, and the best response to the second column strategy is the second row, right? Now, if you remember the matching pennies game, the row player wants to choose the same as the uh, column player. So if the column player chooses heads, the row player should choose heads. And if the column player chooses tails, the row should player should choose tails. Um, so what, what we do is, is we consider a general case of what the column player is doing. So just a uh, mixed strategy. Y is just any number uh, between 0 and 1. Now, of course, if we had more strategies, we need to consider a more general case. But for, for this, it'll it'll do. And then the, the quantity that is of interest to us is A sigma C T, so almost the incomplete version of the utility. And now this will just give us a, a column vector uh, with values 2y minus 1 and 1 minus 2y. So that just comes from taking uh, this row and multiplying it by what would be a column once you've transposed it. So we get a y um, and another y, remember there's a minus sign there, minus 1. Okay. So what we have then is this is the utility um, of 1, 0, right? So that's the utility of playing the first row strategy, and that's the utility of 0, 1. All right? So there's going to be some value of y for which this is better, and there's going to be some value of y for which this is better. So what we can do is we can simply look at that. And so we, we, just, we just plot it uh, for the simple 2 by 2 case. And so we look at... Um, as a function of y between 0 and and 1, and we, we plot 2y minus 1. Let me do this in a particular uh, color. So uh, 2y minus 1 will go something like that. So that's a sigma c t 1. And then we're going to have uh, 1 minus 2y, which will do something like that. And so that's a sigma c t 2, all right? And so now we can identify the best responses for all values of y, because this point here, which is y equals a half, as long as y is less than a half, then we should be on the red line, because it's above the yellow line. So as long as y is uh, less than a half, then the best response is to play the second row. And if y is uh, greater than a half, then we want to be on the yellow line. So the best response is to play the first row. And we just write that down um, as such. So we write down that sigma r star is equal to 1, 0 um, if y is greater than a half. Okay. Um, it's equal to 0, 1 if y is strictly less than a half. And then we have this other case that if y is equal to a half, then basically both strategies are a best response. So we just write down that we're indifferent. And uh, that's how we can identify best responses. And of course, we can reproduce that for the column player and see which, which pairs of strategies are best response to each other.